Um, this is how we're going to desmog a 2008 ATM 530 EXCR. We're going to get started with the video step by step and it's going to run about a half an hour. Okay, here's the 530 EXCR canister removal. I'm peeling off. This is the right side side panel. There's the muffler. There's the side panel. Undid the one bolt down there, unclipped it up here and where it intersects with the fender. You just peel it back and you can see the canister right in there. And there's one zip tie holding it on. So I don't think they intended for it to be there too long. But I cut that and there's two hoses off of it. And one says tank. There's some writing on this panel here. One says tank, one says purge. And the one that says tank goes through the frame, through the subframe right here, underneath, and to this T right here, which I've just kind of loosened it. It was in there. Just kind of loosened it. There's like a little screw thingy on the end that's zip tied to the frame right there, where it has like a rubber tie right on there. So I ended that. This is that screw into the thing. I wonder if this hose here is the one that went up to the gas tank in the in the in the top of the cap. So one half of that T goes to the top of the cap, the other half goes through the frame right there over into the evap canister. And I'm about to pull the evap canister out. And underneath the right side of the frame, right there, is the little valve that we have to remove. So here we go. Okay, so I've pulled all the hoses that followed along here and into the uh, little evap valve down there. And I took the canister off up in the top and now there's a bolt uh, right there underneath the valve and I'm going to loosen that bolt from the back side and take this valve off. The bolt seems to be part of the, uh, the sprocket protector on the front sprocket. So I'm going to take that off. There's like a little metal arm. Remove that metal arm and then put the bolt back in for the sake of the, the sprocket protector. So on the other side, one of those hoses, I'll show you the hoses after, one of those hoses ran to um, the side of the engine. See that little nipple right there? And that's what you buy the block off kit from, from Blaze Racing. And this T hose right here, you can see it goes from the um, top of the valve cover into the T and then down to the drain in the bottom. But this half here, that's where the other half of the uh, Blaze Racing kit goes and then they give you the hose that goes right to the bottom. So I haven't figured that out yet, but we'll figure that out in a few minutes when we get to that. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, here we are. Um, this was the hose that is on there like that, on the carburetor. And I'm pulling that off of there. And this piece is gonna come off of here and the Blaze Racing part that goes down below the swing arm to the ground goes in there. And the other bolt goes in this hole, the bigger blaze bolt goes in there for the pollution block off. And these two hoses, this one here to the T and this one here, stay adjoined. This is a crankcase breather down below and this is the valve cover breather up top. So that's that. I'm starting to think though, this whole operation is gonna be a lot easier if I take off the subframe. I loosen the exhaust and all that, but there isn't a lot of work, uh, room to work on that carburetor in there. It's really tight. So anyway, I'm not at that point yet. I'm still going to keep going, but I wouldn't be surprised if I end up taking off the subframe. And the subframe's no problem. It's just four bolts. The trouble is you have to take off all the wires for the battery and stuff. So here we are. So here we are, carburetor in hand, and I'm going to get to work on it. In the JD jetting kit, under, this is the accelerator um, pump. And underneath here, underneath here is a, uh, it's very simple, a spring and a diaphragm. So you undo these three screws, you lift off this cover, just put it down on the rag like I had it there or wherever you like, someplace safe in the same position. And you remove the spring, you just lift the spring off and you just lift the diaphragm out. And there's a little tiny tip that you put on the top of the diaphragm. You take the diaphragm, you sit it on a six millimeter socket, and you lightly hammer that tip on. And once it's on, it's not coming off and it shortens the stroke of the of the accelerator pump. Then you put the spring back on and these three screws, that's it. Um, underneath here, you change the main jet to a number 
was it 175 for 0 to 3,000 feet, that would be me, and um, uh, the 42 on the pilot jet. On the underside of this guy right here, um, I changed the uh, uh, power jet, as KTM calls it, or idle jet, or there's a whole bunch of different names for it, but KTM to a number 60. And the reason I did that, I think you can see the part number there. Silly camera. Um, it's 5463108 And the reason I did that is after you install the JD jetting kit, you get a, uh, a bog off idle. So the number 60 is quite a bit bigger than the number 40 that was in there. And um, it'll give you now, I've got the Bly Racing um, um, block off kit, and I'm about to remove this stud right here with a 12 millimeter wrench and put in the, the block off with some Loctite. So there we go. And block off nipple in place. You can see it screws right in. I put a little Loctite on before as per the recommendations in the directions. And boy, it's a really nice and, um, It's really quite a nice kit because you can see the bolt fits on there beautifully. And the hose that is being replaced to go down to the bottom for the, see where it goes into the engine for the crankcase ventilator and it tees and then it goes into the head up there. The hose has a nice bend in it, and it'll drop down between the engine and the swing arm quite nicely. So um, hats off to Bly for a really nice kit. I still have the bolt to put into the cylinder head on the other side. There was a vent out of the cylinder head, but um, looks really good. That's quite tight. The, the, the fitting that's originally on there is a 12 millimeter uh, wrench, but the Bly head is only a 10 millimeter. So just so you know. Okay. So here we are with the next step in the uh, JD jetting kit, and that's to wrap a washer around the, uh, the throttle mechanism. And I guess this is the pump actuator right there, this guy. And you're going to put an O-ring around there, so that's how it should look. Okay, here we are inside the carburetor. Um, see if I can get a good focus on that. There's the little, literally an O-ring that wraps around the, uh, the little lever there. And, sorry, it's so fuzzy. Camera's not that great. Um, but it's, um, uh, it kind of pulls it a little bit faster when you accelerate. And um, it's hard to get on there. I used a tiny screwdriver and just kind of worked it around, but not terrible. But anyway, on to the next thing. Okay, uh, we have a works connection um, adjustable fuel screw. So you can see I just took the spring, the washer, and um, the O-ring and stuck it right on top of the works connection one. Screw it all the way down. Look bottoms there, bottomed. And I'm going to bring it out um, one and an eighth turns. So there's there's one and let's say one eighth about there. And that should be the primary setting for this carburetor. So that's the easy part. But it's a nice Nice looking screw <laughs> that goes in there afterwards and you can check your idle and blip it and see if it's um, sharp and crisp. If not, you can adjust it out a little bit or in a little bit. And anyway, that's the easy one. 